channel. I am Chanel and I'm back with another hair video. So this wig is from the Sensational Cloud9 Swiss Lace Wig 100% Premium Fibers. It does have an HD lace and um, I believe the line is called What A Lace. So the hairline is very natural and it has like a natural density. This wig is called Zelina, um, and I did get it in a color 1B. So the good thing about this wig is it is safe to use a curling iron or flat iron up to 400 degrees. And I really didn't do anything to this wig. Like I said, it has a natural hairline already, but you can absolutely pluck it if you want. I will be careful if I was you if you wanted to pluck it um, because on the sides by the ear tabs there's not very much space to actually pluck a lot of hair but to be honest I don't feel like this wig needs to be plucked you know I'm not that I'm not one of those girls that absolutely have to pluck every wig unless it's just you know it has a very thick density so but I'm actually surprised because this wig is a synthetic wig and I have to be honest that Honestly, I could not tell that this was a synthetic wig. You know, when I was running my fingers through it, it felt human to me. Um, one thing that I will do next time when I apply this wig to wear it, I definitely will either wear a black cap or I will do like the bald cap method. Um, I was being really lazy. I didn't feel like it was necessary to do the bald cap method because I wasn't going to keep this wig on for very long. Um, I think this wig is probably about a good maybe 24 to 26 inches. I did not measure it, but that's what I'm kind of, you know, thinking that it is. But it, I'm just applying the wig like I always do. I'm using the bowl hold liquid gold and then, you know, I just use the blow dryer to tack it down, make sure it's completely dry. Um, I'm going to go in a little bit later in the video and just use some cream foundation, you know, just do my regular degler routine that I do when I apply my lace wigs. This wig has natural layers in it, and I just absolutely love it because you don't have to, like I said, I'm gonna keep saying it, you don't have to do anything to the wig. Just put, take it out of the pack, you know, put your little baby hairs in it, um, and go on about your day. I mean, it's so pretty. I like the fact because I feel like this is a very versatile wig. You can actually wear this wig, you know, you know if you're going out with your girls or whatever, going out with your boo thing, whoever it is, or even, you know, like daytime, going to work. I feel like this is a very um, professional looking wig. It's not doing too much and it's still giving you that sex appeal that you are looking for. Yeah, and it only cost, it was under $50. I think I paid like $47 for it. I'll leave all the information down in the description box below where I purchased this wig from. I'm not sure if they still have the sale going on, but when I purchased it, it was under $50. But, you know, like you see me here, like I said, I was gonna apply that cream foundation, and that's what I'm doing. Like, I barely put any cream foundation on it to get it to blend. Um, that's one good thing about having the Swiss HD lace is it just melts right into your skin if you apply it correctly. And like I said, if I do this again, I'm definitely not gonna use that cap. I know you guys see it. My plan was to just do the messy flip over method. I did not wanna do a part. So that's another reason why I didn't do the ball cap method or you know put a black cap or anything because I didn't feel like you were gonna see it. But since it is HD, honey, honey, it is definitely HD. You're gonna see everything. So when you apply it, just make sure, you know, you do your best to make it look natural, you know. But a little bit later on, I think I did, uh, later on in the day, I took that cap off and it looked so good without the cap, so. Yeah, but this is the wig and honey, I'm feeling it, I love it. Like I said, I'll keep, I'll put everything in the description box for you ladies if you are interested in this wig. Um, I did get a few snags in it, but to be honest, it's a curled wig and it's something that's gonna happen, it's synthetic. The wig is probably not going to last like, you know, months at a time, depending on how well you take care of it or how often you wear it. But it's a good go-to wig if you just need something for, you know, like a day or two or an event or whatever the case may be. But yeah, so if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next one. Leave down in the comments what type of video would you like to see next. Talk to you later.
Thank you.